click on Structure, Block Layout, and Add Custom Block. Click on Brochure, and let's call this the Ibis Hotel Brochure. We won't worry about anything in the body. Go ahead and upload any text file or PDF file you might have laying around. It doesn't really matter at this point. I've uploaded a PDF I just quickly threw together. And this is the Ibis Hotel brochure. And I'm going to click Save. And now I get to place the block. And here's the interesting part. I can now put this on any node I want. But I don't want it just anywhere. I want it on a specific place. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on Pages. And this is where I need the machine path of the node that I want it on. So for now, I'm going to click Save Block so I don't lose it. And I'm going to head over to Content and find the Hotel Drupal node ID by hovering over the edit and you'll see in the bottom there node slash 53 well that's what I need I want my block just on this particular hotel so back over to structure and block layout scroll down to the bottom and here's my hotel brochure I'm gonna click configure on that I'm actually gonna change it to hotel Drupal since that's the node we're putting it on doesn't really matter and I'm gonna scroll down to pages and show just on a slash node slash 53. In the sidebar first region, click Save Block. And now up under sidebar first, I've got my hotel brochure just on the node that I selected. Click Save Blocks and click on Content and go to Hotel Drupal, and there's our brochure. If I go any other page, of course, it's not there. So now, to summarize this, we've created a custom block type called brochure. We've added a block using the brochure block type, which contains a title, a body, and a file field. We've created it for one particular hotel, and now every hotel can have their own brochure managed right here in the block layout.